All right. We reported last week on the incident at the Shanghai Auto Show where a woman claiming that her Tesla brakes failed got up on a Tesla at their booth and started shouting until she was taken away and detained by authorities for five days. Well, now Tesla has posted on their Weibo account more backstory about the incident, and it just seems to get more and more bizarre. It turns out, according to Tesla's post, that 32-year-old Ms. Zhang is the owner of the vehicle and that on February 21st on the National Highway 341 in China, she was in the passenger seat texting when her father, who was driving the car, collided with the car in front of them. The police judged that Mr. Zhang was fully responsible for the accident because he did not maintain a safe distance from the vehicle in front. The car was going 118.5 kilometers an hour, that's 73.6 miles an hour, before the accident. And Teslarati claims that the speed limit in that section where the accident happened is 80 kilometers an hour. Meaning that he was going over the speed limit by about 23 miles an hour. Tesla checked the data logs and determined that the ABS, the forward collision warning, and the automatic emergency braking were all working properly. On March 6th, after a bunch of back and forth with Tesla where Ms. Zhang refused any form of vehicle testing, she brought her wrecked car to Tesla wrapped in a banner saying brake failure. Ms. Zhang demanded that she be compensated for her mental anguish and medical and lost work expenses. Tesla offered to pay for third-party testing, but Ms. Zhang and her husband refused, saying that unless the results showed that the brakes failed, they wouldn't accept any other result. Ms. Zhang then kept inviting the media to the store to interview her in front of the bannered car. On March 9th, local authorities invited Tesla and Ms. Zhang to mediation. Ms. Zhang finally accepted Tesla's offer of a third-party investigation, but then changed her mind and refused again. On March 11th, Ms. Zhang disclosed her phone conversations with Tesla on her Weibo account. On March 13th, Ms. Zhang went back to the Tesla photo store in Zhangzhou and spray painted her car to say brake failure and had more media interviews. From April 8th to the 12th, Mrs. Zhang brought her car to the Zhangzhou Auto Show and hired female models to stand next to the car to attract attention. Then on April 19th, she did her stunt at the Tesla booth at the Shanghai Auto Show. She claimed to be three months pregnant, but then it was later confirmed by the police that she was not pregnant. On April 22nd, Tesla sent the vehicle data to Ms. Zhang. This is before Tesla finally went public with the crash data to the public. To be clear, this is Tesla's account of the story. Tao Lin, Tesla's global VP, said that they would not grant Zhang a refund. It's because this request is not reasonable. We said we can pay for the car to be examined, but she is not cooperative. Okay, so this is a bizarre story, and it gets even more bizarre when you consider that there have been claims made in the Chinese media that Ms. Zhang has some relation to one of Neo's parts suppliers. Now, Neo denies any involvement, but that could make it even weirder if it turns out that this was some kind of media stunt. Yeah, it's this is the craziest story. A lot of people are conjecturing that the Chinese government finally wants to get Tesla out. I don't know why you would have let them in, build a giant gigafactory and then kick them out. It seems like that's a weird way to do it. But I mean, the argument goes that you could uh, steal all their tech and then boot them out of the country. This is a story we've heard time and time again where the driver of a car says, no, I did the right thing. It's the car's fault. And uh, in this case, unlike with ICE cars, we have data. Like with an ICE car, you, you may not be able to prove anything. Right. But here we have all the data of when the brake pedal was hit, what speed the car was going. And we know the speed he was going was above the speed limit. So there you go. I mean, if you rear end someone, it's pretty much always your fault. Right. Now, I mean, if the brakes had failed, I just... Well, well, then why not open this up to third-party investigation? Like, I mean, she kept putting a seal on the car so that no one could touch the car, no right. one could investigate, and it's like she only wants to hear that the brakes failed. Well, what if a third-party investigation says, no, the brakes didn't fail? I mean, all you have to do is investigate them. Right. It just seems crazy that it could get this out of hand. I feel like we've heard crazy stories that happen, like, in the U.S. or, or Europe, but I don't think anything has garnered this much media attention. Next time you have a problem with Tesla, just hire some models. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching Now You Know Clips. You can watch full episodes of Tesla Time News on Mondays and in-depths on Fridays. Just click the link down below to head over to the Now You Know channel.